guide video, I guess. Really having fun with these. Instead of just sitting in my room and talking about all the places, I really wanted to bring you guys with me. And I guess you can consider me your tour guide for the day. Some parts are gonna be voiced over because there'll be clips from things I did last summer that I would still recommend doing this summer. So I hope you enjoy my favorite summer things here to do in the city. Obviously it's a personal list, but if you guys have any recommendations, based on what I brought you on today then do leave them in the comments below I'm always looking to update these kind of videos and look for new great things to do in the city so I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you at the end of the video welcome to Smorgasburg America this is one of my absolute favorite things to do in the summer I'm all about that food so this is basically a gigantic food market full of the most weirdest and wonderful creations what's better than starting a vlog right in the middle of all this madness So I've finally gotten my food. I've got a really great view of the Empire State Building. And as you can see, I'm digging in. I've got mozzarella sticks, jerk chicken, which is like insanely good. And I've got like a fresh um, iced tea lemonade. Oh, so good in the summer. The market phone doesn't stop there though. On the same street, which is North 7th Street, you'll also find the artists flea market which is absolutely amazing it's probably my favorite market in terms of goods you can buy because the stuff there is all like really contemporary and basically it's just not a lot of junk so I would totally recommend going to it it's literally right next to the market if you fancy trying something different on the entertainment scene, I would highly recommend trying to get a ticket to Shakespeare in the Park. I feel like this is a really New York unique experience and something really, really different to the typical Broadway, I suppose. If you want even more outdoor entertainment, I'd highly recommend trying to catch a rooftop cinema. There's a couple of venues here in New York. I recently saw Indiana Jones, and come on, this landscape, absolutely incredible. What are you trying to do, scare me? You sound like my mother. We've known each other for a long time. I don't believe in magic, a lot of superstitions, hocus pocus. I'm going after I find incredible. No matter what week you come to New York, there's bound to be some kind of interesting food festival on. The one that's on for me right now is the Brian Park Ice Cream Festival, a three-day event, unlimited ice cream with your $20 ticket, and it's kind of heaven. I will leave some resources below so you guys can check what events are on. When you guys are here, there's something like this on every single weekend. So don't be sad if you're missing out on this one. Cherry chocolate chunk vanilla. Brian 3 pistachio. Round four, my friends. Oh, how stunning is Brian Park today? Like, seriously. This is one for the art lovers. If you're like me and you love a good mosey around an art museum or a gallery, the Dia Beacon is the place to be. It is probably the best one you will ever go to in your life. It's around an hour and a half train journey upstate from New York City. It's not quite in the city, but it is so worth it if you are even remotely interested in art. It houses the scale of work that just can never be held in New York City or any city gallery, I personally think. And it's such a unique experience. You never know what's around the next turn here. And there's just so much to explore here. You could definitely spend a full day here. And if you get there early and you finish up early, you can also visit the nearby Storm King Sculpture Park, which is an outdoor sculpture park that kind of houses very similar work to this, but all outdoors. I mean, look at this Louise Bourgeois. How can you resist? totally recommend making the effort to stop here. Last stop on this journey, I have brought you way up to 190th Street to bring you guys to the Cloisters, so let's go. From the subway station, the Cloisters is around a five to 10 minute walk, but you get to walk through this absolutely stunning Park. It's so beautiful up here. There's a completely different vibe. It kind of feels like a slice of Europe. It feels very Florence, very Italy. Like, look at that. What a nice walk up to where we're going. It's so weird. The Cloisters is one of those places you either know all about it and you've been here before or you've never heard of it in your life. And if you're looking for something completely different to do here in Manhattan and you just want a slice of peace, I would completely recommend it. It's very, very different to the rest of Manhattan. I've just arrived at the Abbey. It's very 
Game of thrones as you can see. So I'm heading in now. It is recommended a $25 entry, but it's actually donation-based. So you can pay whatever you want, $2, $5, whatever it's worth to you. I'm just out here enjoying the view from the West Terrace and this place just blows my mind. They've even taken actual real parts from parts of France and sort of built around the pieces that they have. Like a lot of the archways and stuff are actually originals from places like Dijon and it's beautiful here. There's so many like artifacts that you can see. The architecture is incredible. And if you were sort of craving this type of architectural culture, it's like nothing else I've seen here in New York and I don't know, it just makes me feel a little bit closer to home when I'm up here. It's an absolutely amazing place to visit if you're here in New York City. So that is it, those are my favorite things to do in New York. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe, a lot more of these videos to come. I've actually already filmed my favorite free things to do here in the summer in New York City so I hope you stay tuned for that. If you fancy sticking around a little longer, I already started off this series with my favorite sweet treats that I like to eat here in New York City. It's a bit of a foodie tour, so I'll link that in the description below. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in my next one. Bye from New York City.